by Trina Solar, um, by um, Gao Lai, who is their senior product manager, and he will talk about reliability of 600 watt plus ultra high power modules and its innovative integrative integrated delivery solutions. Gao Lai, uh, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Uh, thank you, Michael, and thank you, everyone, uh, every audience. Uh, my name is Gao Lei and come from Trina Solar, Global Product Management Team. And uh, today I'd like to introduce the reliability of our 600 plus ultra high power modules and uh, the integrated delivery solution. Uh, the topics we will cover, uh, today I'll cover three topics majorly. Uh, the first topic is uh, ecosystem construction progress of 600 watt plus. And uh, second is module reliability. And the third is integrated solution for delivery. First of all, let me introduce our Vertex product family members to you. Uh, since uh, February 2020, Trina Solar had launched five uh, major products which covers power range from 400 watt to 670 watt. And uh, the Vitex modules have average 40 watt to 120 watt higher power than the industrial level. And uh, as you can see here, the Trina Solar 670 Vitex module is the first ma mass production 600 plus watt module in the industry. It's our flagship product. And it's a 500 watt uh, product, Redex, uh, which is the first launched in February, 2020. It's the first pr mass produced 500 watt plus mo uh, product in the industry as well. And our Redex S, it promotes the residential small size module to 500 watt area. It's a uh, distributed uh, market superstar till now. Okay, uh, let me uh, guide you to, in, to step into our first topic, the ecosystem construction. Start from 2020, uh, 600 PV open innovation, Alice uh, had established, uh, started uh, from 30, uh, 36 initial members. And until today, the partner, partner uh, numbers had uh, expanded to uh, 89 uh, partners. Okay, uh, during these two years, uh, almost two years, all the, uh, all the Alliance partners had overcome the bottlenecks, technical bottlenecks, especially on the ingo uh, pulling, wafer slicing, and uh, sale manufacture, module manufacture, product design, reliability verification, uh, junction box design, glass manufacturer, inverter, tracker capability, and many, many things. And we are very proud of what we achieved. So here, I'd like to grantly introduce a design tool to all the audience today who joined. And uh, for the first time, Trina Solo introduced a PV design tool. It's an assistant to first, uh, the, for the first time, we combined the module, tracker, and the inverter uh, characters together. So you will be easily find out uh, the main components characters in one tool. It will quite speed up your design speed. And you can now easily access this tool through the link pvd.trainersolar.com. You can type in in your browser and you can access this tool. In this tool, you will find you will find all the inventor who compatible with uh, Vertex 210 module. Of course, includes the, our uh, partners module, and you can find all the trackers which are compatible with our modules as well. And, you, and until today, we have already uh, published two compatible white papers uh, for the tracker and for the inventor. 
and you can get this uh, two uh, white paper free from Trina Solar website. And uh, this tool can help you to get the uh, compatible uh, components easier. And if you have any further question, of course, you can get contact with Trina Solar Sales Manager or get contact with uh, uh, partner, uh, partner sales managers as well. Another significantly achievement of over 600 plus island, open islands uh, is a standardization of the module size and the wafer size. As you know, a, in the past, all the conventional modules, they have different sizes, uh, again, uh, between different manufacturers, which will generate a lot of uh, effort for our supplier to produce different size glass, different size wafer, different size frame. But after, and of course, for the customers as well, they have to adjust their design. But after, as soon as the 600 watt uh, open islands uh, established, uh, we have first time um, uniformed the wafer size and uh, we, and continuously, we have uniform, uniformed the uh, module uh, dimensions to a uh, same one. So nowadays, if you look at the two term uh, modules, uh, especially the 600 plus modules, they share the same size, which uh, I, we believe it's a big achievement for the industry and uh, it will benefit to our upstream and downstream partners. According to the open collaboration innovation concept of this audience, uh, we have developed quite a lot of uh, capacity and according to the uh, PV, PV info link uh, forecast uh, from uh, January, for, from July uh, 2021, we can see that the big wafer modules includes 210 and 182 is going to dominate the market. market. And uh, if you look at the capacity of wafer and, uh, the, and the module, uh, sale and the module, you will see that uh, in 2025, the forecast tell us 210 will uh, occupy more than 50% of the shell. And uh, here I'd like to gladly uh, tell uh, the audience that Trina Solar will begin to offer uh, 50, uh, 50 gigawatts plus uh, capacity from, 20, from end of 2021 and 80 of the capacity will be the over 210 VETEX module. Now, why is uh, VETEX is so popular? Okay, um, here is a value assessment from the from Hoffer. It tells us uh, for the fixed tilt and the uh, single row uh, tracker uh, project uh, in Germany, the fixed tilt uh, it can help the customer save the capex, uh, capex around two cent uh, euro, and the LCOE. Uh, compared with uh, M10 uh, module, it can save around four uh, four percent LCOE. And for a, a single single row tracker project in Spain, and uh, the the two ten six hundred sixty module can save around one cent uh, euro. CAPEX and the LCOE will be 1.9% lower. The, the saving is majorly comes from the mounting and the installation cost first, and the second, the electrical systems and the freight. Okay, uh, why we have the mounting and the installation saving? It's, uh, it's, uh, we, uh, it, it comes from the innovation low, uh, voltage design. And the low voltage design, which will increase the single, uh, a single stream power around 32% com compared with a uh, conventional one. And the uh, ultra high power module, as I just said, the 660 module will have uh, around 120 watt higher power than the conventional one. It will reduce the quantity of the modules uh, which we used for the project and it will reduce installation effort and the steep speed up the construction progress. Meanwhile, I will talk about the freight in the following slides, the freight saving. Okay, 
So that's the progress about our our 600 plus uh, uh, islands progress. Second, I will introduce our module reliability work. We choose uh, the Trina Solar Reliability Guarantee System. It's based on the customer values. And uh, the foundation of, uh, of this system is the Trina's all-stage product insurance system. And uh, we also rely on the China State Key Library of PV, uh, PV, PV Science and Technology, which provide opti, opti, uh, optimal product design. Why we see Optimized design is so important. Let's make an example. A metal, if you throw it into the water, it will sink. But if you design it into a ship, the ship can sail across the ocean. So it shows how important of the design. If we look at the, our 210 module, VEDEX, compared with M10 module, you will easily find out our, our 210 670 module is. Uh, 4.3, 4, 4.6% longer than 18272 uh, module, but, uh, but it's still shorter than, than uh, M10 uh, 78 module. Uh, from the y, from Y's point of view, it will be 50% wider than M, M10 serial. So our module is relatively uh, larger. And uh, our design team have think over and over how to how to overcome this uh, uh, this uh, uh, weakness. And uh, what we did is we conducted the non-destructive cutting technology. If you look at the pictures in the right hand, you will find out uh, the non-destructive cutting uh, technology can provide a much more smoother uh, section uh, pick, uh, section of the cell. And uh, uh, such kind of technology improves uh, uh, improves the sale um, strength, uh, mechanical strength quite a lot, and and reduce the uh, risk of crack. Meanwhile, uh, we have introduced, we have did a lot of analysis and and uh, uh, designed a more stronger uh, frame. And uh, compared with the conventional one, it can provide a better support on our uh, email. Uh, uh, emulation part. How to verify our design is feasible? We introduced a mechanism to, to verify our uh, mechanical reliability. It contains one standard test. Each, it, it, it is a static load test from the standard IEC standard and uh, another five enhanced tests. And all the tests is done Samples are picked randomly from production line. So a standard test is a static, static load test. We have to uh, maintain the same, same mechanical lo uh, load level as the traditional ones to really compatible with the designs. So we verified according to the IEC standard. And uh, uh, of course, the test result is good. And uh, the EL image is used in the right hand and after the test, we already uh, got the uh, IEC certification granted uh, in January 2021. So next is number one, enhanced the test. Uh, it's non-uniform snow low test. It's, simul it's a simulation of 2.8 meters snow. So after the snow test, uh, our module uh, have get only uh, 0.56% uh, degradation, and the, the, the frame have no deformation at all. And here comes a third-party test report uh, screenshot. The second enhanced test is static load test under extreme low temperature. It's a simulation for the modules which we will work in the uh, very north high latitude uh, environments. Okay, uh, after the test, uh, okay, the, the mechanical load test criteria is uh, plus uh, 5,400 Pascal and the minus uh, 2,400 Pascal. And the test result is plus. After the test, the power degradation of the double glass and the single glass module is, is, uh, is uh, almost um, no change. And, the, I, and the, for the double glass, it's, or it's, it's lower than 0.2 points 
zero point two percent, and for our single glass, it's less than one point five percent. And here it's a third party test reports screenshot as well. And this is a simulated a simulation for the heel uh, impact. Uh, we have conducted two tests. One is a standard IEC, and another is a hasted, uh, hasted uh, 35 millimeter. And after test, we also tested the degradation of the module. Uh, for, our, for a single glass, uh, the degradation is less than 0. Um, 0.70%. And for a dual glass, it's less than 1%. It's 0. 0.53%. And if you need a more strict hill impact uh, product, uh, then you can get contact with uh, Trina Solar. We have the solution for you. This test is uh, finished by the two uh, SART. Okay, the fourth and hence the test is dynamic load test. Um, as everyone knows that uh, after the module is uh, deployed in the uh, 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 in, in the field. The module will endure a long-term dynamic strength uh, on, the, on, the, on, on, on it. So the frame, the cell, and the back sheet, of course, the glass, well, sub, uh, uh, they are keeping subjecting um, uh, fatiguing strength and uh, which will cause some failure. So uh, we did a test to simulate such kind of situation. According to our test result, the Vertex 670-watt module, uh, single, single glass version, uh, it can suffer uh, plus minus 1,500 Pascal uh, mechanical load, uh, uh, dynamic load test. Uh, sorry, here it's a mistake. This one is a clamp installation. So uh, for the for the for the 100,000, uh, 105,000 Pascal, it can achieve uh, 6,680 uh, uh, cycles, and uh, for 1,000 pas one pound uh, plus minus 1,000 Pascal uh, test, it can suffer uh, 7,500 cycles, and for a dual glass module, um, the Vertex uh, with clamp mounting solution, it can achieve. Uh, more than uh, achieved uh, 20,000 uh, 20, cycles. So it's, it's, seven, it's seven, so 7 point, uh, five times better than the IEC standard and for, uh, for a single glass. And for a dual glass, it's maximum 20 times uh, strength than uh, IEC standard. This is a test report from, from our party. And the fifth, hence the test, is a wind tunnel test. We believe this one is our, this one is the best way to verify the mechanical stability. So we conducted the two tests, two, two sets of tests. The first one is the extreme, uh, or you can say limitation and test. Uh, we applied uh, 30, mini, 30 meter per second wind speed um, to 62 meter per second wind speed. And uh, uh, for Vitex module, the, 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 the limitation we can achieve is uh, 32.6 meter per second wind speed, and which is better than the reference module. And uh, after this uh, limitation is achieved, we also conducted a long-term uh, stability test. Uh, we uh, will fix the module at uh, at 60 tilt and uh, 60 and 45 tilt uh, with screw and the hybrid complete, uh, hybrid uh, fixation method and the, both of the test is passed is passed and uh, the GL before and after the test is still maintained the same level the power degradation is less than 3% as well here is the test report from a third party and the pictures of the tests and after all the tests, uh, we have finished. We have some um, suggestions from Trina. Uh, number one is that uh, the insulation method is strongly impact the system stability. Number two is from Trina, we really suggest we use a hybrid uh, fixation for the high speed wind area 
which means a clamp plus a, a screw. Okay, so uh, now I get into the, the third part, the integrated delivery solution. As I mentioned before, uh, Trina is a customer value driven company and uh, we conducted a study on, um, we, 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 we tried best to, to, to find out the saving points for a customer and uh, we did uh, conducted a study on the transportation part. Okay, and we found out that the uh, transportation of the module will take a big portion of the costs. So we try to introduce a better solution for our trans for, for the module transportation to save the cost and lower the carbon footprint. The solution we propose here to, to our customer is a vertical. And compared with a conventional module, we can see that the space container space uh, utilization rate uh, can increase 5%. And uh, uh, meanwhile, the, um, the, the container loading capacity can increase 10%. What that means? That means uh, during uh, this year, 2021, the freight, the freight is increased 2.4 times. So it can help and to save the customer's cost around 3.3 .3 US dollar per cent uh, per watt. And uh, uh, the carbon emission will be lower. And as, as our rough calculation, uh, the carbon, uh, is, uh, carbon emission will cut down around four to 8%. And uh, uh, we talked about uh, uh, the cost saving. Uh, but uh, what about the reliability? Uh, Trina have conducted all the tests to verify the reliability of this in new invo innovation uh, packaging solution. We have conducted uh, the uh, ISTA 3E tests and uh, the uh, tests is all passed. Uh, meanwhile, in order to verify uh, the, usability, uh, the, the, the usability, or I can say the security of this solution, uh, we have uh, invested quite a lot of effort to verify uh, the uh, situation when the module delivered to the uh, project site. Okay, in the window, in the internal test, we can see the module can suffer around uh, around the class uh, class uh, twelve went. Okay, it is passed, but we still uh, suggest that we should put the modules in a flat and a solid land. Okay, and uh, uh, someone could could uh, concern on how to unpackage our module. Uh, we have did some studies in the conventional uh, projects. We found out in order to unpackage the uh, module, uh, the, the local um, operator, they will handmade uh, some wooden standard support to support the modules for, from falling down. So uh, Trina Solar, uh, we standardized uh, the standard support to make it into wood, uh, to, to metal. So it will be more reliable and easy for use. And it is recyclable as well. And uh, how to manage the unpackaging in the project site? Uh, it's three steps, very easy. Number one, we just open the box. Number two, slide in the standard supporter. Number three, cut the tilt and pull the modules onto the standard supporter. It's quite, it's quite efficient, quite efficiency and uh, uh, can save quite a lot of cost for our customer. In order to verify the stability of the uh, opened box, we have also conducted uh, the wind tunnel test to see if it's still at the same, same level as the conventional one or not. Uh, the test result shows that uh, with 10 pieces of modules, uh, no matter it's standard or vertical, the, the, the situation is almost the same. And uh, in order to protect uh, the, the modules and protect uh, the workers, it's better to tight the other modules, no matter it's horizontal or it's vertical.
and uh, we have also verified, or we can see, also delivered uh, the, pro the, the modules to the projects. The first example is a Da Shaidang project in Qinghai province, China, and uh, which is uh, already finished this construction and verified our vertical, vertical package solution. Another project is in Japan. And here is an example from Korea. Okay, so that's just some examples. And we have hundreds of, more than hundreds of projects uh, delivered uh, globally. And um, many of them is uh, 600 watt plus and, um, and uh, until today, China already get 25 gigawatt plus signed orders. And we have finished 10 gigawatt shipment. And this number is increasing fastly. Okay, here is all my content of the day. Uh, some, summary, some summary of today. Number one, with leading product performance innovation design concept and the higher stream power concept, the Vertex module brings more saving of initial cost and LCOE to the customers. Number two, the design of Vertex module has gone through a simulation test of extreme climates such as strong wind, extreme, extreme cold, hill, and, uh, and others, and it maintains high reliability and the mechanical performance. Number three, the innovation delivery solution design brings a lower flight cost and uh, lower carbon footprint. Meanwhile, China had uh, integrated a delivery solution which ensured the security of deployment. Thank you very much. That's all my content today. Thanks, Gao. Uh, very nice, uh, very interesting, the solutions you developed uh, for uh, your different products. Um, so um, maybe a few questions um, we have. Um, so I think um, one was also here, the latest one was regarding um, also next generation um, technology, a cell technology. Um, somebody asked, so as it is known that Trina has a 500 megawatt top gun capacity based on 210. Um, is there any, any share any details on, on the module layout for 210 top gun? Um, our two ten cop, uh, top count we are aimed at two segments. One is residential, and other is utility. So it will keep forty layout and uh, 60, 66 layout. Uh, yeah, that's is uh, uh, that is the outlook, and we will we will launch our product very soon. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> um, there's one question here from Jörg Althaus from TUV. Um, what was the failure criteria for the 7,000 cycles in the DML test if it was not the power? Can you, it's very detailed, I don't know, but uh, maybe if you can take it from top of your head, otherwise maybe in written. Uh, the, fail the failure criteria of the 7,000 is a broken of the frame. So we believe this uh, uh, this failure will cause uh, uh, will cause the failure of the uh, performance. So we believe that's that's is reasonable. Okay. Um, maybe you can also address this one question about tracker compatibility for ten to ten modules. I think that's an easy one since you have your own tracker in. <laughs> Yeah, as I just uh, as I just said, uh, we have just uh, launched our uh, published our tracker capability white paper. In this white paper, uh, we have more than thirty different tracker uh, models. Comes from forty uh, tra top tracker suppliers. Uh, compatible list. Okay, super. Okay, I think thanks so much. Uh, just in case there's more questions, it would be great if you could answer them in the chat. Uh, thanks again for this uh, comprehensive uh, presentation. Also very exciting, the new design solution you presented. Uh, thanks, Gao.